Welcome back to the media. Welcome to another uh, test flight. I'm currently here in ICLO. Just arrived a couple of minutes ago. Try to set up a couple of things uh, for me to be able to kick off with my flight. So this is very unusual for me because I always bring my my action camera. So this time around, I am very excited to actually uh, let you know that I have just purchased my proper camera. This is the Sony 7AC and I'm really very eager to actually do my test vlog. Today is the Father's Day, so we're off today, not going anywhere. And I had about a couple of hours of rest from morning up until the afternoon and decided to drop by at Fortune Town to check out some accessories that I will be needing in my upcoming holiday. So basically this is just a black list and we're checking out some places that we can shoot. Alright, that's it for today and see you in my next bye bye. I came to stop by uh, the Fortune Town Mall and I have some reason I was in a hurry because I wanted to maximize my day. Um, just so you know, I purchased my Sony A7C the other day. I'm really, really satisfied with you know my decision buying a an entry level for pro camera because in the coming few weeks. I'll be spending a holiday in Japan for 16 days, so I wanted to change a bit of my vibe. I always vlog my travel with my action camera. The nice thing about having action camera is that it's very lightweight, very compact, very tiny. It can fit in the side pockets of your backpack uh, without really noticing it that you know you have something inside your backpack really lightweight. Certain times I would shoot my vlog with my iPhone, which is my usual and uh, everyday carry. And well, I wanted to try a bit of vlogging using really a proper camera. The only downside of having this uh, Sony A7 is that the stabilization is not the same as what you get with the you know, DJI action camera, where subject is really properly stabilized. So that's one thing that we don't get. On one hand, what we're getting is that we're getting a really good uh, low light quality of, of subject. And because it's a proper camera, you get a proper depth of field as opposed to the iPhone camera where, yes, there is a, a portrait style and cinematic style, but it's more of digital corrected, you know, result of, you know, this, this kind of app that you use to make it appear as if it's cinematic with those bokeh or what we call those like depth of field, like blurry background. So that's the downside, but having really a proper camera such as this, which is Sony A7, is really a big leap from my usual vlogging, which is an action camera and my, my iPhone. Now to tell you honestly with the iPhone 15 Pro Max which was also recently purchased so I recently purchased the iPhone 15 Pro Max to leverage a bit of my, my vlog I do mix my vlog actually uh, when I'm walking I vlog with my action camera because it's really good with you know stabilization and so with the iPhone 15 Pro Max the, the nice thing about um, having with the uh, DJI action camera is that I can easily mount them with a tiny tripod without really overwhelming when you are in a situation where it's crowded or in a situation where you are just seated with some you know people around you because that that overwhelms also the other people not just myself i get overwhelmed really when there's a lot of people as for vlogging in in front of locals or people i'm not very shy with that but it's just that there's also a proper way to do you know vlogging if I can do it discreetly I would do it but in certain times where I really have to vlog you know some places because it's just compelling to vlog I, I do it so I don't really hold back even if there's a lot of people really hanging out or just walking around if I need to vlog I do vlog moving on 
I'm really happy today because I was able to purchase alongside with the Sony A7. So um, I just recently purchased a URTH a VMD filter. This is a tiny filter. It's four point something uh, millimeters. I'm not really sure. Um, this is my first time actually purchasing a VMD filter for a proper camera. So I have already purchased a VMD filter, but not intended for a, for a regular camera such as this. What I did, what I purchased was a VMD filter for my iPhone 15 Pro Max. That one is way bigger, and that VMD filter is from the small rig company. By the way, I also came to stop by a small rig company to check out cage cages for um, camera because maybe in the future I might be taking some videos that require some accessories and to mount the accessories you don't have you know like thread holes um, or like a hole where you can screw some of those accessories because these are just bare camera so you needed those cage and they come along with um, like different sizes of you know, screws and that's where you can screw some accessories such as light, other extra cold shoe or hot shoe for you to mount your extra accessories such as wireless receiver, um, SSD if you wish to you know carry and I put all your video directly to the SSD or a power bank so that one can really accommodate it's called circular lens filter and last last one I purchased a second hand camera bag. I'm really happy. I don't need really a new one because I just needed something that's very light, compact and tiny so I can fit it in my backpack. This coming few weeks I'm preparing to fly to Japan for my holiday to spend my holiday. That's gonna be 16th day of holiday in Japan. So I don't know where to go yet. But I'm planning to just bring my backpack so I don't have to worry about um, my things. I've seen a couple of videos that my luggages were, were not handled properly by some of the staff. So that's my biggest problem. With a backpack, I don't really have to worry because they're made of, how to say it, um, some of them made of nylon. Even if you throw them, it doesn't. I don't really feel bothered about it. But as for luggages, I'm not really sure. I'm buying really um, like, like a quality plastic a language. I'm not sure about that. If, it, if you drop your language, that's gonna end up in, in trouble. So, uh, and besides, I have been backpacking for, for five years now, or more than five years. I'm really satisfied with just wearing my, my usual backpack, like a 40 liter, 50 liter uh, backpack. So recently, I just purchased also a backpack in Japan, and so that's what we're using in the coming few weeks when we fly to Japan. So that goes along with this tiny you know, camera bag because I don't want bulky and this season I'm not bringing my bicycle because I will be somewhere in the northern part of Japan which is much colder and snow is pretty heavy um, in the coming few weeks. Snow is really starting to uh, jump back and in Sapporo city and some you know, neighboring cities of Sapporo. In my previous experience, when I came to stop by in Sapporo, um, I brought my, my bicycle. I had a trouble really bringing my luggage back and forth from the station, the train station, all the way to um, you know, guest houses. And, and I had struggled. So this time around, we learned from our experiences. We don't bring a bicycle. Really, I love bringing my bicycle because I can easily you know, pick up my bike like any time of the day and go around the city. And for the past uh, like five years, I've been traveling with, with my bicycle. I'm really happy with that. But this time around, we will change a bit of our bike to just adapt because it's, it's winter season. All right, that's just this quick update. Heading somewhere else tonight because we're checking out some places where we can do our uh, test luck. All right, that's it. And see you in my next destination. Bye. <laughs>
Siam Square, so as you can see, tons of tourists and locals uh, came came to pass by check out uh, the Father's Day event here at the Siam Square. We're here to just do our test vlog of this newly purchased Sony 7AC. Uh, we're trying out also the, uh, the ability to capture low light conditions. So trying to look at the condition of the, the video if it passes really my standard and currently there's an event here i don't know if this is a a j-pop a thai pop but what i'm hearing is a is a thai lyrics so definitely this is a thai pop uh, you can feel the december vibe really here in the siam square it's just really nice to be chilling the that it's not a winter vibe though but it's just ch chilling in the, in the christmas or december vibe see that December feels that's how it feels like so in a couple of minutes we'll be heading at the MBK to check out another vibe and let's also try out another shot we will be just outside the MBK so there's this perfect spot to really take in there so that's what we're looking at just a plan because I don't know what's gonna happen along the way if I, while I'm walking along the way to the MBK all right so in the meantime, I'm just chilling here, just a couple of minutes more, just to feel this December vibe here at the Science Square. All right, see you in my next destination. Bye. ago I tried to vlog but there were a couple of distractions really um, but I don't have the control over the you know people passing by so we're trying our best to check a, a perfect spot where we can uh, do our vlog and yeah, welcome to a sit down vlog so we're currently here in the MBK um, area as you can see a lot of things are happening here and 
just on top of this you can find the BTS heading towards the Mochi area and on this side this is um, heading to the Sukhumvit and then you can get up one of these heading towards the Kunchipuri which is the green line all right so we're currently here to check out the vibe and we're also doing a test plug on my newly purchased 7 um, AC so I'm not just here to really enjoy the uh, vibe but I'm here mainly to do some test plug on my newly purchased Sony 7 AC this is my second proper camera first time I bought my first uh, proper camera was sometime in 2014 it was a Canon brand and I was really happy when I purchased that one because I was able to get really good shots really high quality high resolution shots that I took from you know my various trips and one of the highlights was the Mount Pula uh, trekking yeah I did use that camera to you know, take some video of the landscape and I experienced trekking back in 2014 when I used to do some trekking uh, unfortunately I didn't get to really vlog vlogging during 2014 wasn't really in that during that year it was mainly used to take some high quality photos so that was the ultimate purpose why I purchased that camera but the problem with the camera it's really bulky but during that time I wasn't really thinking that you know if you are to put it if you are to compare it in our current time it's really bulky it's just big but I wasn't complaining either when when I had that back in 2014 because that was the norm that was the size and that size was the norm back then so yeah I wasn't really complaining and, and besides I'm pretty aware that back then majority of the cameras series of cameras are in, in that you know lineup of you know in terms of the weight so that's the norm uh, back then. I'm really happy to go out today and check out the vibe. Today is the uh, Father's Day. We had an off uh, from, from our work. Tomorrow I'm going back to school. It's going to be our last day, but it's going to be our house color, house colors day. Pretty much we had nearly uh, three days of, of work. Tomorrow it's still a work, but not much of really a classroom setup we're basically assisting our kids because this is a student-led activity so but we will be there in in our uh, respective color houses to assist the kids and give them the support so that's it and see you in my next vlog bye